Uh, this is my first um, video. It's going to be a the XL series evolution and competitors and whatnot. All right, let's get back to this. So this is all right here. 1963, 1960, yeah, first month production, 1964, XL12, very good shape for its age, it runs great, this, the early ones had a straight stack muffler, early ones had a straight stack, and it had a special type spark plug, small shorty spark plug. And, um, yeah, this set day is straight stack. A few of them had a different, um, different idle screw. Some of them are back here. I have one uh, idle screws back there on, on the plunger. Yeah, this is a very early one. Let's get the next one right here. That one. There's the next one. Yep, right here. XL Auto. XL Automatic here, 1965, made in Canada. Actually, it wasn't made in Canada, it was made in New York. You know, this saw right here, it has the oil adjusting screw on the back right here. Oil adjuster screw idle. A few other differences. The you know, early ones had a chrome muffler, the Super XLs had a chrome muffler. And. This also has the Wix fuel system. I forgot to mention on the other one. There's also has the Wix fuel system, which is copper line runs directly into the tank. Yeah. Pretty good of saws. Next in line. Probably the... It's 1965 XL12. Also very clean condition. This one, they moved away. From the shorty spark plug, just a regular spark plug. This one has no longer has the Wix fuel system in it. Yeah, 65, 66, something like that. Very clean metal. Another way you can tell if it's an early one, the gas caps style and the air filter knob style. Maybe another one. Let's see what's next. XL12 down here. 1968 model. 1968 XL12 again has the knobs, the bumpy knobs on them. And the early XL12s just had this little slot for the um, adjusting screws. Super XLs are farther apart, they're more down here. There's a different reed block, and I'm going to show you. These had a flat reed instead of like a cage reed. Let's see. Yep. Be on the early ones, the uh, metal was metal. Let's see, next saw. Probably this 60 68 XL Super. Super XL. Very nice chainsaw. It's one I got on Facebook. It has the bumpy knobs, automatic, and the metal um, oil pickups. Later on, it's plastic. I made a little kickstand for this one. That's your part, original part that hold it up broke off. It's a kickstand. Yeah, that's that one. There we have it. Another 68 Super XL down here. Uh. This one right here I got from Dean. <coughs> Sells the bumpy air filter, cover knob. And the, again, the early ones had a screw where the oil plunger goes. They didn't come with um, oil plungers until about 1975. Yeah, and pretty clean one. So it's a chrome muffler. In the years, HI Super XL. The other one was Dean's. Got him. It's HI's right here. 
Ben Bumpy Cats, 1968. This one has, I believe this is a factory add-on because it has the metal knob. Because most of them are plastic. This has a metal one and a few were add-ons. But the factory put a f some on a few of them, not many. It has a crappy air filter. Anyway, see the Super XLs all have this um, read, the cage read style. Probably, uh, actually, I got one before this one. This was probably 70, 72 XL12, Super XL, sorry. Again, it's a metal caps, and it switched to the different style. Yes, caps. Again, chrome mufflers on these. 60. I want to say 72, they went away from the 73, they went away from the pearl mufflers. Anyway, there's that one. I got the 70, 71 XL Super XL down here. 1971 Super XL runs great. Hmm? So has a knobby um, caps on them. Chrome muffler again. And this is when he went to the metallic blue type color. The metallic blue was on about saws from 70 to 74. I know a few blue ones made it to 74. And reds took over. They're actually making reds in 72 and blues. I like the transition. I guess would be this um 72 XL12 right here. So the early red ones. I like the powder coated muffler. And it had black on the side right here. It had white XL12 decal. And the other side had white decals on them. Anyway. I need to fix a choke on that one. I haven't got around to do that. Anyway. Right. Next will be the 70, 74 Super XL. And these, this one's going for plastic. I feel to put this nice metal one on it. And the gas tap caps turn red. I had like this little like slot thing in them. Still black on the sides. And this is when I started putting the plastic, plastic screws for the oil to pick up in them. There's that one. And I don't have a 75 or 76. I don't want to come in now. I got one I know of. This is a 77 XL12. This is a 1977 XL12. Where they went to the um, red and black decals on the side right here. This is a nice one. That oil knob. Custom. And yeah, there's that. I'm gonna move this one out the way. Next one we have. This will be the 77 Super XL. 77 Super. And this one they went to the decals in the middle. And yeah, it's this one. And a few of them came with this um muffler that heat shield. This is the first year for the heat shield 77. Here's 
70. Here, this one. 74 Super XL. This one came with guard those broke, so I took it off. This one just has a regular style muffler. Screw the small one. Anyway. This one still has the um decals in the middle like this. About 70, 85. I went to the regular Super XL decal. I was a little bit like, I gave that one. Speak of which, we got one of them right here. This is the one with the different decals on them. Handguard, muffler shield, all that stuff. Yep, that's that one. Super XL, and a few have had this little sticker made in the USA on them. And let's see what's different about this one. Not much too different about this one. About 70, 79, 80 on, and they all came with log dogs. And later ones also about 70, hmm, 76, 70, probably 79 on actually. They had the plastic oil plunger knobs. So the nice metal ones. There's that one. And next one. Next line we got the um big red here. The one I rebuilt. 1995 model. Great saw. Wonderful compression, big red, Super XL 95. Yeah, it has a heat shield muffler. Some of them had a plastic, 79 on probably, they all had plastic choke knobs. And it's this one. And then the latest Super XL I have, which would be this old blue here. Old Blue was made 1987, 97, 97, sorry. So original bar on there. Yep, has a plastic Old Blue. Has a, the later ones came with this um, reed operator manual before tuning carburetor, whatnot. This one has heat shield muffler, plastic choke knob. That's the latest one I have. They made the John Deere is about 99, somewhere around in there. Those are pretty rare also. That's these. And the competitors for the Super XL series, or the XL12, were these. The one was the 306A, one. Which was 59 cc's. They had a... 90. Nice, um, different style muffler. This one's pretty nice. Nice, also have the manual override, the choke over here, bottle lock right here. 59 cc's one cc more and here's the 1010 which was 54 cc's more in line with the xl12 and these are automatic the xl12s weren't Let's see what else about some of these kind of chain break whatnot i got one of chain break in there yeah they're all pretty good and these are competitors, top competitors. There's a, few, there's a few more Lombard. They weren't really as big as these though. Remington wasn't either. Anyway, that's how to evade on the XL12 Evolution competitors, whatnot. The XL12 Super XL series lasted a lot longer than these did. I think the Polands went from the 306, 68 to like 80 or 79, 1980, 1980.
1981, something like that anyway. So long they last 1010, the regular 1010 automatic, not the Pro Mac. But the regular 1010 went from 70. Yeah, wait, regular 1010 went from about 1970 or so. And if you were manual order only, same with the 306. About 72, they got automatic on them. There's better saws. And this, I think, want to say they went to like 1976, 77. Just a regular 1010, not the Pro Mac. And yeah, that's a video on the 1010, 1010. Super XL Series, Evolution, and of competitors. Anyways, thanks for watching.